Hey all and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So, Halloween has arrived and with it comes the Masquerading of Liars event within Neverwinter. In this event you can gain multiple different items from a pretty best in slot companion, that being for at least DPS in those defense slots, and also a pretty cool looking cosmetic mount being the broomstick where essentially you can fly around on a broomstick, which is actually pretty cool. A mount which I have not yet obtained, and I intend to do so within this event. However, it can be relatively tricky to do so. Along with that, of course, you can also obtain a Scarecrow Companion, which can be relatively decent if you're in need of those stats. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what this event's all about. Well, first up, there's this contest, right? You have these three teams which will be competing against each other. So initially to begin the event, you have to choose a team, one of the three. First team being the Cryptic Visage team, the next being the Pumpkin Head or Scarecrow team, and the other one being like the Witch Druid Circle team. Anyway, all of these teams, you go ahead and you choose one of them. And these teams will compete against each other by basically tallying up the total of daily quests that each team does, whichever team gets the highest amount done within the end of the event that is the team that wins now the winning team will basically gain that visage for free the ability to change into that exact creature for example the ghost visage you will become like the ghost the scarecrow you'll become like the scarecrow and the witch you'll become like the witch and you'll be able to even use it within combat and in Avernus it's pretty cool you're able to use it instead of that big car vehicle Anyway, on top of this, there's a whole variety of different cosmetics that you can also purchase. If we go to the store here, just at this vendor, you can see all the multitude of different items that we can purchase. Now, the currency, the main currency here for the store, is those masquerade tokens. Now, the easiest way to obtain these masquerade tokens is from these bags of illusionist goods. Now, these bags of illusionist goods will be obtained by exchanging the liar's charms, which you will obtain easily from interacting with these pumpkins that will be all at the doorsteps. They respawn fairly quickly. You interact with them and you'll gain one of those charms. Now, you can only hold up to five of these charms and then you'll have to go and yeah, either discard them or trade them off. So you obtain the charm, you go to one of the NPCs that will either be strolling around or just standing there. You exchange it for one of these good bags and you continually go and collect more of those pumpkins or those charms from the pumpkins and you just keep doing so gaining more and more of these bags then you go ahead and you open a load of these bags now with these bags what you want to be obtaining is those tokens you want to obtain those tokens and also the beholder pinatas as well as the handful of enchanted bristle. Now, looking at the event store here, right, it seems fairly simple. Most things you'll just need those masquerade tokens to purchase. However, if we go ahead and look at the enchanted broomstick, you need a whole variety of things. You need your plain old astral diamonds, along with 600 of those masquerade tokens, along with 25 of those enchanted bristles. These bristles obtained through those bags of illusionist goods and you will also need the gnarled broomstick this being obtained here for 200 of those masquerade tokens totaling this enchanted broom to cost 800 of those masquerade tokens on top of this we need this enchanted witch's sash you can see that here at the bottom enchanted witch's sash the only way you can figure out how to obtain this is by looking at the developer's blog or asking people and you obtain it through the beholder pinatas i'm assuming the drop rate is pretty terrible on them and also the pinatas have a cooldown time of two minutes every time you kill them they're not like the summer pinatas where you can split them up and then just kill them at basically one after another anyway that's just really annoying so i i suggest you open these bags as you obtain them and kill them pinatas as you obtain them as yes they have that two minute cooldown Anyway, so that's how you'd obtain the Enchanted Broom. To obtain the Wandering Scarecrow, you simply just have to purchase one of each mask, totaling up to six of them, meaning this Wandering Scarecrow will cost you 1,200 of those Masquerade tokens. Then finally here we have the Empowered Illusionist Mask, and to purchase this you will need the illusionist mask this being the mask you will obtain through those also those bags of goods if you don't 
already own one of the masks, the bag will automatically just give you one as soon as you open it. Looking over at the exchange part, you can simply go ahead and exchange your tokens, your liars, or I mean your charms, for tokens. The direct amount being one for one. Now, the best way, in my opinion, to obtain these Liar's Charms is from those pumpkins, going around and collecting them. However, also when you're out questing alternatively, you can obtain them just by killing mobs. The drop chance on those isn't particularly high. Now, in order to achieve your free visage, the visage for the team which you are gunning for, you will have to complete a total of 15 daily quests for your team, this being the minimum requirement. And then the more you complete, the more likely your team will win. And thus, you'll be able to obtain that free visage. There are the three different visages here of the toil, the maze, and the, the cryptic. Now, each of these NPCs of your Pacific Visage will give you daily quests, and they'll continually do so, and they'll basically order you to go and trick-or-treating. It can be very tedious. You basically have to go to these uh, specters, you interact with them, and they'll either give you a trick-or-treat. I got one of them who gave me a trick, and ended up just teleporting me to a different location in Protector's Enclave. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully this was somewhat helpful. This overall guide to the Masqueraders of Liars event can be a tad confusing at the beginning. Hopefully you can obtain a few rewards here and there and potentially even make a profit if you wish to grind this out entirely and sell things on the auction house or trade with other players. Hopefully I presented this well. If I did, consider leaving the video a like and if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I will see you guys around. Goodbye for now.